Clinical Anatomy and Injuries of the Upper Limb Clinical anatomy of the upper limb is a field of study that integrates anatomical knowledge with clinical applications, providing a foundation for understanding and treating various injuries. In this exploration, we will delve into specific injuries of the upper limb, elucidating the anatomical structures involved and their clinical significance. 1. Rotator cuff injuries. The rotator cuff, comprising muscles and tendons around the shoulder joint, is prone to injuries, often resulting from overuse or trauma. B. D. Chorasia's anatomical illustrations offer a detailed understanding of the rotator cuff's composition, aiding in the diagnosis and management of injuries such as tears or inflammation. Clinical correlations emphasize the importance of recognizing these injuries in conditions like impingement syndrome and the role of rehabilitation in restoring function. 2. Shoulder dislocations. Shoulder dislocations involve the displacement of the humeral head from the glenoid fossa. Chorasia's insights into the shoulder joint's anatomy are instrumental in understanding the mechanisms and classifications of dislocations. Clinically, recognizing the types of dislocations, such as anterior and posterior, is crucial for proper reduction techniques and preventing recurrent dislocations. 3. Tennis and golfer's elbow. Epicondylitis, commonly known as tennis and golfer's elbow, involves inflammation of the tendons attached to the medial and lateral epicondyles of the humerus. Chorasia's anatomical descriptions of the elbow region provide a foundation for understanding the stress points and structures involved. Clinical applications highlight the importance of proper biomechanics and rehabilitation in managing these overuse injuries. 4. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome Carpal tunnel syndrome results from compression of the median nerve at the wrist, leading to numbness and tingling in the hand. Chorasia's detailed exploration of the wrist's anatomy, including the carpal bones and transverse carpal ligament, aids in understanding the pathophysiology of this syndrome. Clinical correlations emphasize the role of anatomical variations and the importance of timely intervention to prevent permanent nerve damage. 5. De Corvain's tenosynovitis. This condition involves inflammation of the tendons at the base of the thumb, causing pain and swelling. Chorasia's depiction of the hand's intricate anatomy guides clinicians in recognizing the affected tendons and understanding the biomechanics of thumb movement. Clinical applications focus on conservative measures and, in severe cases, surgical interventions based on a solid anatomical foundation. 6. Cubital Tunnel Syndrome Cubital tunnel syndrome results from compression of the ulnar nerve at the elbow, leading to numbness and weakness in the hand. Chorasia's insights into the ulnar nerve's course and the anatomical structures surrounding the elbow aid in diagnosing and managing this condition. Clinical correlations stress the importance of avoiding prolonged elbow flexion and the role of surgical decompression in severe cases. 7. Fractures of the forearm. Forearm fractures are common and often involve the radius and ulna. Chorasia's detailed descriptions of these bones, along with their articulations, contribute to understanding fracture patterns and classifications. Clinically, this knowledge is essential for choosing appropriate treatment modalities, whether it be casting, closed reduction, or surgical fixation, depending on the fracture type and location. 8. Trigger finger. Stenosing tenosynovitis, commonly known as trigger finger, results from inflammation of the tendon sheath, causing finger locking. Chorasia's illustrations of the hand's flexor tendons and their sheaths aid in recognizing the affected structures. Clinical correlations focus on conservative measures, such as splinting and anti-inflammatory medications, and, in severe cases, surgical release of the tendon sheath. 9. Brachial Plexus Injuries Trauma or stretching of the brachial plexus can result in various neurological deficits. Chorasia's detailed exploration of the brachial plexus anatomy facilitates understanding the patterns of nerve involvement. Clinical applications emphasize the importance of a thorough neurological examination and imaging studies in diagnosing and planning the management of brachial plexus injuries. 10. Hand Fractures and Dislocations Chorasia's comprehensive coverage of hand anatomy, 
including bones, joints, and ligaments, aids in understanding the complexities of hand injuries. Clinically, recognizing fractures and dislocations, whether involving the metacarpals or phalanges, is crucial for appropriate splinting, reduction, and rehabilitation to optimize hand function. In conclusion, the clinical anatomy of the upper limb is inseparable from the understanding and management of injuries. B. D. Chorasia's contributions in depicting the intricate structures of the upper limb serve as a guide for medical professionals in diagnosing, treating, and rehabilitating patients with upper limb injuries. The integration of anatomical knowledge with clinical correlations enhances the competency of healthcare practitioners, ensuring a comprehensive approach to the complexities of upper limb injuries. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.